Hi guys, welcome back to Prophecy Unfolding. It's good to be with you. Another day has gone and we're still here. Guys, what I wanted to bring to you today, it's a question that many people can ask. This whole thing of the rapture, and it seems to be a huge amount of people will be cutting along to the pre-trib uh, line. But there is many people who would kind of say that, you know, pre-trib is a false doctrine. It's leading people astray, etc, uh, etc, etc. Et now, I'm someone who comes from kind of post-trib and um, pre rat at one stage, post-trib before and then right back to pre-trib. What I wanted to kind of give to you today, this is more of an update, it'll be short and swift and to the point guys, because I truly believe this is going to bless you. I came across something that to me I would call gold dust to give me another point of view. I would ask you guys, this is going to be short, watch it in its full context to get the overview and I have a little surprise in it for you as well. Be blessed and enjoy this guys. Right guys, just to get straight into the swing, no messing around, no gadgets, no gimmicks, no, no none of that type of thing. To get straight down into this, many people have asked about this whole thing of kind of the, the pre-trib um, rapture. Most of us will agree that the rapture is going, to, a rapture is going to happen, which is obviously the dead in Christ rise, and then we um, who are alive and remain will meet Christ in the air. The big discussion and the big argument around all this is when it's going to actually happen. The first thing I will say as a disclaimer guys, regardless of your belief, regardless of our opinions, um, we should be, this should be bringing us together as believers in Christ, that one day Christ is coming back. We should look at these as a hobby. If you're talking to people, I get it, I get it a lot guys, people who are post-trib will say that, you know, it's, it's false teachers and the heresy, etc. that there's no biblical evidence. After the last while, I see a huge amount of biblical evidence for a pre-tribulation rapture where the saints are not here, where the bride of Christ is not here for what we call the wrath of God or the day of the Lord or the tribulation period, um, time of Jacob's trouble. You can kind of throw all these names into it. Where we get this from, guys, before I give you this little surprise to, um, to actually watch, obviously we were told that we are not appointed to wrath. We know that we're not appointed to wrath. Obviously, we're saved from the wrath because of what Christ Jesus done and our belief in him. The first thing we have to realize is the time of tribulation or great tribulation is God's wrath being poured out on an ungodly and unrighteous people and he's doing it justly because he's given them chance after chance after chance to repent and when the cup is full, which I believe we're almost there, his wrath will be appointed and it's, it's a just wrath to be poured out. We see it through scripture, a lot of scripture which talks about his wrath being poured out on the unrighteous because of their sin and because the fact that he suppressed the truth with their unrighteousness, which means in like a legal term, they're completely naked before God because of what they're actually doing. So he's just in pouring out his wrath. We know that this time period is gonna be like never before, guys. Jesus promised what's going to come in that period of time has never happened before. It's never, nothing that happened before is as bad as this or nothing afterwards will be as bad as this. This will be the worst time period around. Many believers who believe in post trip will turn around and say, you know, we'll go through but we're protected through it. I don't see any scripture to back that up. When we're looking through Revelation, there's killings upon killings, there's dead people everywhere. A huge amount of people are gonna die in this. It will be a tragic event because people will still not turn to Christ. Now, our argument as, a, as someone that would believe fully in the pre-trib um, rapture, I was talking to a good friend of mine, guys, who is really, it blew my mind. Um, Yako from, some of you have probably already subscribed. If you haven't, guys, go to his channel, God's Roadmap to the End. I'm going to drop a link in the description, guys. He has a five-part video um, on what we call the harvest and how the harvest works. And you know, when we're looking at the, the resurrection of the dead, everything, the first fruits, uh, the main harvest, the sh guys, it's just, it uh, blew my mind. You will, it actually ties everything in together. It's well worth your watch. Take your time in watching it. I'm gonna have to do it again. There was so much where it just blew my mind. It really and truly did. And um, we're actually in the, the process of setting up a, a meeting to actually do a video together, guys, to bring you, kind of a really like a packed 
video on everything that's gonna happen, whether it's the mark, whether it's disclosure, the rapture, the harvest. There's so much we wanna put into it, guys. And we're hoping this week, next week, we can arrange it. God's roadmap to the end. Um, Jacko, as I would call him, because I pronounce it the J, but his name is Jacko. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Go down to the description and, and, and go through it, guys, and watch it. What will happen is, when I do the video with him, you will get the full context, because the foundation is laid. We cannot ignore it. You have to watch these, guys. If you believe in pre-trib, watch it. If you don't, watch it, guys. Get the full context. I truly believe, guys, we're close to the end. How close? I don't know exactly. Nobody knows. But don't kind of be saying that, you know, people that believe in pre-trib, it's, it's heresy or it's false teaching. Guys, there's so much scripture to back up what we believe. There really and truly is. When we use our own logic, God always protects his righteous. Always. Always. He took Lot totally out before he brought down his wrath. Totally. Took him out and then the wrath came and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. How much more will, it, will Christ do for his bride? You know, I ask people, let's be honest. As a man, can you imagine if I was asking my wife before we got married, when she was getting prepared and she's fully ready to come down to, to the church to get married, to go to, to a course to try prove herself and her loyalty to me before she actually comes. Even though the belief is there that we have in Christ, guys. We're overcomers because we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that's the main principle that we're standing on. It's not pulled out of heresy, guys. It's not. It's fully biblical. There's so much scripture. I'll leave this nice and short, guys. Go to the link below. Go on to um, God's Roadmap to the end and have a look at those five videos. I'm, I'm on the last one, kind of in, in the middle of the last one, but I'm probably going to watch the five again and really get into it with notes. Some of it just blew my mind. Have a watch, guys. This is only a short update, guys. I will have more coming up. Um, a few good ones, dreams and visions, how does God speak, etc. There's a few other things I'll do. Regardless of what happens, guys, as I always say, God's always in control. 